Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today it's International Gin and Tonic Day, so I'm going to make a gin and tonic dessert using some grapes, a pear, testing the gin, I'm sure it's alright, and we infuse these ingredients into what's called a thermo whipper and then we serve that up. So watch, follow along and let's see how we do. See you in a minute. First thing I'm going to do is prepare the ISI to infuse the grapes in it. Just pop your grapes in there, you can use the amount of up to two thirds in that. Put the top on, make sure that you screw it down tightly. Once that's done, take off the sealing cap and take the CO2 charger, pop it in the holder and screw this down firmly. Once you screw this down, you'll hear a hiss go through and you'll know that it's charged it fully. When it's charged, take off the top and then place this into your fridge for two to four hours. Next, prepare the fruit. Cut off the top and bottom of the pear and then peel it all round. Once this is peeled, cut it into four. Place these four quarters into a sous vide bag. You use a special bag because they're heat proof. Then add in some spices and some alcohol. I'm using lemon flavored gin, 25 ml of it will go into here. Any more and it comes out a little bit too strong. Then add in two grams of mixed spice and then two dessert spoons of sugar and then mix this together. Squeeze it all around the liquid and the spices. Then put it into a vacuum chamber and then seal this according to the make of your chamber. There you can see it sealing, goes up to a very high pressure and that's it when it's done. That's now ready for the sous vide machine. I'm using a Thermomix to sous vide it but any make you've got will do. Put it into the water, put the lid on and then cook this for an hour at 85 centigrade. You now see me dispersing the air from the ISI whipper and then undo it and then take out the fruit. Hello, welcome back. Right, here you can see I've done this lovely dessert. It's some pears flavoured with gin. Um, the grapes that are done in the infuser, in the ISI, really do give that impression of gin with tonic with this lovely sauce and it's served up with some clotted cream ice cream i hope you enjoyed me making it please try it at home it's very good and i'll see you again soon for another video bye